and f- even if you want if, if that idea doesn't work you fail fast and yeah. you go to the go to the next one so in the e- industry la this is called uh, um uh, like fail fast which is very very popular now um so only if you uh, uh, the fail fast method will make you grow grow into the uh, next better better method sooner so even if okay. the idea fa- so instead of idu panava adu panava idu panava adu panava na decision e edukama irukiradha vida thappana decision eduthu adha fail aayi thirupi adutha decision ku poradhu vandu is much better very great answer shrivish well done you can you. Uh, use this uh, jargon as well to make it as if you know uh, when the fail fast patti and the mother yeah i think both uh, shri vishnu and supriya tried on the um, on their uh, what they believe in and what what is their brand identity right so uh anybody had a opportunity to talk to your family and friends on how they perceive you or uh, anybody wants to talk about your accomplishment and skill that you have Yeah, even if you want to limit uh, on what you're saying please go ahead right like similar to what supriya started with if you just want to say hey, these are the three words that i associate myself with right like that's a good place to start yeah shri vishnu self discovery problem solving and shri vishnu again problem solving is a key skill that is very valued in the workplace right like uh, even for me right i take problem solving as my core skill set or as part of my core skill set uh, and that goes a long way whether the problems that you face at work is small or big as long as you know how to navigate and how to come out with solutions and implement them right like that um, is a very important skill anybody else want to try again you can relate it with your uh, how how it is related to you uh, shri vishnu okay um i think okay. uh yeah um, i hope accepted across uh, many co- many colleges uh, uh, for college yet uh, programming contest uh, uh, at the time uh, i didn't study the algorithm books or data structure books that is present uh, in our college syllabus i used to create my own algorithm and my own data structure to solve uh, problems in coding contest so at the time i used to think and analyze and uh, self discoveringly i create uh, the logic and uh, solve the problems and uh, uh, get the mostly i got 10 first places in uh, coding contest at the time uh, i got placed in also in two companies wow uh, okay mm-hmm. super so the yeah app ninge ellame cover pandringla learn your your um, your skill your which is problem solving and how you used it and that made you accomplish something as well so it, it kind of is a package it covers everything uh, great answer you just have to put it down and um, and uh, be clear and the ungalku kudutha 2 minutes la vandu how best you utilize to put all this together and um, deliver that uh, message to the interviewer sorry ma'am i can't understand so in ninge pa sonna thought process ellathiyum so you have said for example uh, while implementing one idea you should not think about the the another one in between and until you solve the problem adukaprama in the self discovery problem solving ella sonninga illa so and idella vand you can you are given only 2 minutes right um so in the 2 minutes la vande evlo efficient ah id ellathiyu na cover panni solla mudiyum abdinu neenga practice panikonga okay um so when the and because the interviewer will ask you that question anyway every interviewer is going to ask you that question tell me about yourself na 
இன் யோ மைண்ட் யூ ஹேவ் அ கிளாரிட்டி எதை நம்ம ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சொல்ல போறோம் என்ன ஸ்டோரி அதுக்கு யூஸ் பண்ண போறோம் அப்படியெல்லாம் வந்து ஓரளவுக்கு வந்து யூ ஹேவ் அ ப்ரிப்பரேஷன் இன் யோர் மைண்ட் ஆன் வாட் யூ கோயிங் டு சே நல் பி குட் Okay. Yeah. Anybody else wants to attempt? A lot of folks I see from metallurgy, right, like triple E, ECE, right, like, please go ahead and uh, take this opportunity. Uh, ECE wants somebody to raise their hand. Um, do you want to go ahead and talk, please? Okay, anybody else? Or we have to call you call you by name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, sound Soundarya Triple E, do you want to try? Somebody dropped off immediately. <laughs> சௌந்தர்யா ட்ரிப்ளி ட்ரை பண்றீங்களா திலகம் உமா இசிஇ உமா சக்திவேல் எம் சஞ்சய் ஓகே மேபி யூ கேன் டைப் டு சேவ் வாட் வாட் இஸ் ஸ்டாப்பிங் யூ டு ட்ரை வி கேன் ஹெல்ப் யூ and vidya go ahead you were going to say something no, no no i was going to say the same thing right like it, what would um, help you to talk in these types of forums because this is where you learn and when you go to interviews it will be a key skill right like they when they ask a question you should be able to come up with answers or hopefully have practiced some of those answers and this is a practice session so please use it Arun Kumar you want to try <laughs> Divya oh we have a doctor M Mohan Raj so who is that okay Varsha uh, again right like so if, if you're not comfortable speaking can you go ahead and type in the chat right like what are your three key qualities go ahead and type it in the chat please because this is important right like you should know about yourself you should uh, right this is the place for you to start when you go to interviews now uh, looks like raj kamal has raised his uh, hand raj kamal go ahead no oh, sorry sir just now i have entered the meeting okay so since you are on uh, uh since you're talking right like can you tell us about yourself can you tell us about yourself in like three words or three sentences rajkumar so let me get a app so i just need to take time
okay go uh, again go ahead and put some thoughts at least in the chat this is very uh, important okay should we go to the next section then sunita yep um, yeah, and then we'll uh, again right like we'll spend some time towards the end also so please uh, think about this right like towards the end maybe we can spend some more time uh, if anybody wants to volunteer if that's okay okay so let me go to the next um, next slide okay sandhya or uh, saranya sorry saranya do you want to talk Saranya, looks like you raised your hand. Is that okay? Uh, do you want to talk? Okay, so let let me let me go ahead uh, with the next section. Right, like this is about thinking. And uh, you may be wondering why are we talking about thinking, right? You guys are very accomplished. You're already in an engineering college, right? Like you're learning a lot of uh, important things, electrical, electronics, mechanical, metallurgy, right? Like you are learning a lot of skills, right? Like these are the core skills that is going to, right? Like define your life as you work through this. But knowing certain things is one thing. And the ability to show that you can think and use what you learned is a, another important thing. So think about why people come and hire you. They want to know how much you actually understood from your learning, that is important, but they also want to know that you can think, that you can use your brain power. You, again, you've all accomplished something. You got into a government college through merit, right? You have done extremely well, whether you're in school or in college up until this point, but you should be able to showcase that you can use your brain, you can use the knowledge that you acquired in an interview. You should be able to impress somebody that you can actually think and showcase your skills. And that is what will differentiate you from another person who can only uh, regurgitate what they have memorized, right? Some of us have a tendency to read and only talk about what we've read. Some of us have a tendency to understand and explain things. So that is what the interviewer is looking for. They want to know that you can actually use your brain power, your knowledge, so that you can show that you can apply your knowledge. And when they actually hire you, you are not just waiting for others to tell you what to do, but you can actually use your thought process, use your brain power and come up with solutions. So yeah, um, and that's where Sri Vishnu, I, I really liked your answer earlier where you actually talked about, right? You were able to come up with algorithms. You actually showed that you can think, you may not follow a certain um, algorithm or certain approach, but you should be able to use that and explain to others in such a way that you can showcase your skills. And that goes a long way when it comes to an interview and then even in the workplace, right? So since we are focused on interviews here, right? Like this is where I want you to think about how you can showcase your skills. And thinking is extremely important. So let's go Vidya, through some of these Vidya, items. Yeah. Yuvaraj P has raised his hand. He might want to ask you something. Yuvaraj, do you have a question? Uh, Yuvaraj, please unmute yourself if you have a question to Vidya. Okay, so okay. yeah, go, go ahead and put it in the chat, Yuvaraj, right? Like if you have a question, uh, we'll, we'll continue again. So from a thinking perspective, um, there are what, what we call as mental, mental models. Right. I'll take you through a few of these things. Hopefully you can relate to some of these. We'll use some examples and take you through uh, how you apply 
some of these mental models. So, we have to answer this question. We either immediate answer to your name, your name, your name, your name, your name. It will come to you directly because it is in the forefront of your mind. But if you ask something else, there will be a situation. Now, I am going fast and slow. Uh, there are examples that I have given here. 16, 16, 256. We know that, right? Uh, uh, then um, multiplication tables we've uh, we've done it uh, we've done it in such a way that like we know certain things really fast from the uh, right like from our fingertips so 16 16s are 256 but if i go to 1667 times 1431 you will not know what that is so you have a same multiplication type setup but you need to be very fast in certain things and be very slow in other things. And that's what I'm trying to say. When you actually think you have, uh, there are two systems that comes into play. One is fast, it is easy, you, it is unconscious. You can make everyday decisions through it. And then there is another system called system two, which is actually slow which is very conscious, you are taking an effort and you are making complex decisions. And why is this important? When you actually go into an interview, right? Our tendency, uh, our tendency is to answer the question right away. So whatever the interviewer asks, we feel that we should answer right away. I'm taking you to slow down don't answer a question right away yeah what's your name what have you been doing right like how is the day going right like those are all fine you can say whatever comes to mind but if there are questions about right tell me about yourself right like what have you done in your projects or other questions you need to slow down you, you need to think about what you are going to say you need to make a conscious effort on what, what you are going to say so what will this convey to the interviewer Again, that you can actually think, that you can use your brain power and showcase that you, you take an effort to understand the question at hand, and then you come out with a conscious and complete answer. Okay, so this is again important, whatever you take from me today, this is one important thing, slow down, right? Like during an interview, take your time understand the question that they are asking and then give your response don't talk right away this is extremely important okay and let me go down to a few other mental models the first one that i'll um, uh, highlight is called first principles model what is first principles it's a way of looking at the world where you actually boil down things to the fundamental truths so what does that mean? You are separating facts from assumptions. So I have an example, right? Like uh, hope, hopefully uh, many of you know uh, who Elon Musk is, right? He is the founder of Tesla, the electric car company. And uh, as part of uh, his, his companies, right? Like he also has SpaceX that is putting people uh, in, in, uh, in rockets. Previously, it's only governments that actually sent people to uh, international space stations. Now, Elon Musk's company is actually sending people through international space station. Actually, last week, uh, the four astronauts went to the international space station through SpaceX. Again, significant achievement for somebody not in the government. So how did that happen? Uh, it is all coming down to first principles. He separated out the facts from what um, the assumptions are. Everybody's assumption is if you have to put somebody uh, in space, right? Like it's going to take a lot of dollars. It's going to, you have to build, it'll take several years for you to build a rocket and so on and so forth. So he actually broke all of those things down and said, okay, what does it take for me to uh, go into space? That's all, right? Like he starts at the most basic level. I need to put somebody in space. I need a rocket. It it is it is very different uh, design compared to what uh, 
the traditional rockets used to be right like it's it's uh, cost effective and that's where he was able to showcase to the world that you can build something differently and doesn't you're not compromising on quality you're still able to put people in space that is one example the second one i'll say right mangalyan mars mission it only took 30 million dollars for india to put a mars rover and look at mars up close it takes billions of dollars for the united states united states governments to do the same thing again how did they make make this happen it all comes down to right like separating out facts from assumptions don't just go by what we know truly understand what the facts are do you truly need to spend billions of dollars in order to get you in closer to mars or let's understand the various components and then get close to it and again a very recent exa um, another example air decon like you i hope ellarum the sura report padam kuda paathirpinga it again came comes down to separating out facts from assumptions i want to put people on an aeroplane air decon or a concept for 1 rupee unheard of adu nadakkuma nadakada nu theriyadu but captain gopinath still tried it still made it happen so his point is again separate out facts from assumptions assumptions and if it is air travel it's going to be very costly it's only for uh, people uh, that have a lot of money so so on and so forth he separated all of those things from air travel can be cheap as long as you fill the flight with enough people you can be uh, profitable in running a low cost airline so that those that's how right like you think about first principles in a way that how do you separate out facts from assumptions there are a few questions that i have included here right like why do i believe this is true right how do i know this to be true how can i support this what alternatives exist right like these are things that you constantly look at and say okay uh, when i push on a particular topic can i go through these sets of questions and and does it give me the same answer or does it start to separate out uh, the facts from the assumptions that is what is key okay so let me go to the want to add one thing um where in in um, in in the real uh, uh, work environment uh, what vidya said is very very useful for any problem solving um so mukhavasi problem we think um, it is not we it gets muddled up assumption fact alla vand ellathiyum onna yosichu vecha vand then um, you won't get the uh, you won't be able to solve the problem so problem solving ku Uh, separating out this fact and assumption is very very important even for your um, uh, you know my daughter is uh, uh, doing her um, uh, a levels or or a 10th standard now even for her um, it, it's important to know and what is it that is actually a fact in when when she gets her marks adala uh, she needs to know which is a fact and which is uh, something that she is assuming and thinking oh idena kamak varave varadu apdela nanachi vit you give up easily if more and more you assume you give up easily um, so it should be always fact based and then that will make you continue uh, in your, whatever you want to achieve yeah go ahead hello okay somebody is not on mute somebody no is... somebody is not on mute ah, okay, okay. yeah so uh, let me go to the second model right like this is a uh, first order thinking versus second order thinking right like this is an extension of the fast and slow concept that i talked about uh, initially first order thinking is mostly fast okay easy answers based on our past experiences it's it's immediate it confines us to what we already know whereas second order thinking is it is actually looking beyond the current assumptions and belief right one of the key things that you can ask in second order is so what adnala enna ipo nam ena edho onnu solren adnala enna what is the impact adu therinjidna that forces you into second order thinking ipo nam applications kala vandha ipo edho oru theorem padikrom 
ஆனா அதோட அப்ளிகேஷன் படிக்கிறோம் எதுக்காக படிக்கிறோம் இட் இஸ் செகண்ட் ஆர்டர் திங்கிங் ரைட் நியூட்டன்ஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் லா நியூட்டன் செகண்ட் லா அதெல்லாம் நம்ம எப்படி யூஸ் பண்றோம் பை தி அப்ளிகேஷன் சோ சோ வாட் எவ்ரி ஆக்ஷன் ஹாஸ் அன் ஈக்குவல் அண்ட் ஆப்போசிட் ரியாக்ஷன் சோ வாட் வி யூஸ் தட் இன் ரைட் ஈவன் ராக்கெட் ப்ரொபல்ஷன் எல்லாம் பத்தி பேசணும் ரைட் லைக் தி மோர் ப்ரெஷர் யூ ஹாவ் ஃபார் புஷிங் இட் டவுன் த ராக்கெட் ரைசஸ் அப் எவ்ரி ஆக்ஷன் ஹாஸ் அன் ஈக்குவல் அண்ட் ஆப்போசிட் ரியாக்ஷன் சோ வாட் வேர் டி யூ யூஸ் தட் கான்செப்ட் அது இட் ஆல் கம்ஸ் டவுன் டு செகண்ட் ஆர்டர் திங்கிங் which is again deliberate and logical it requires right effort to think in those terms it separates out ordinary people from others and this is where you can actually show you can make some complex decisions complex um, items or ideas and come out with it so this is again an important concept and and the other one that i would say is inversion think about Uh, can you start thinking backwards at about what you do not want to happen again now we upon the edo or ka problem work panit irukom i don't want to fail so your success criteria may be different your failure criteria may be different you need to understand whether the opposite is still true start actually from the end does it still make sense so in the three concepts right like uh first principles thinking separate out facts from assumptions second order thinking so what and then inversion it, is it true even if i start from the back from backwards and sri vishnu is saying corner cases right corner cases will actually get covered in second order thinking sri vishnu right if this is where you actually think about all the uh, ideas and thoughts and say okay Uh, if i pushed hard on second order thinking you will get to corner cases so let's use one example and work through these models okay uh sorry let me go back yep so this is about again a business question this can be used in a uh, group discussion or it can be used in an interview right uh, and even somebody asked last week what is more important whether it's um, ethics or profits um, or maybe it was in a rafik session right somebody raised a question about ethics in businesses so that's that's what i have here i'm using this and and people right go ahead and put your thoughts in chat if you have um, any ideas on what's more important uh whether it's ethics or profits when it is uh, when it comes to a business so let me take you through my thought process again i'm not saying this is right or wrong this is my thought process only and when when it comes to a company right like um when it comes to an interview it is important to showcase your thought process okay somebody has said right ethics is important okay let me come to right like i'll um i don't know whether i'll change your mind or not but let me let me showcase right like what what is going on here so the question is what is more important ethics or profits so let's take it from a first principle level right if if i say if i separate out facts from assumptions right what is the key assumption here which is more important somebody is saying are these these two equal right like so is ethics and profits are in the same line to say one is more important than the other so what i have done is i've i've written out some statements to say okay businesses either exist to make a profit or businesses either exist to be ethical so if you take a conventional business it actually one of the success drivers is how how profitable it is but there are non profit organizations whose goal is to make life easier for people those businesses purely exist from an ethical standpoint they are not existing to make a profit okay so again what i have done here is i am only breaking the assumption down is the question or if i underline more important ethics or profits does the question even make sense right do can you compare these two things okay let me keep that for a second let's go to second order thinking there's one person who answered both as well yeah from met- metallurgy from yeah that's that's good so let's let's go to second order thinking 
So the businesses are only focused on profit. So what, right? Like this is a key question, right? I mentioned when it comes to second order thinking, businesses are only focused on profit. So what? What happens if the business is only focused on uh, profit? They don't care about the employees. They don't care about the customers, right? As long as they make money, they keep going. Is that a good thing, right? Let's keep that aside. Businesses are only focused on ethics. If it is a profit making business, and if you are only focused on ethics, will you still be profitable? And the other question that I have here, what happens in 10 days, 10 months, 10 years? You may be making some decisions to be profitable today. Will that same hold true 10 days from now? Will you still be profitable 10 months from now? Will you still be profitable 10 years from now, right? That is the thinking that you need to showcase. And then the last um, model that I was talking about inversion. What if the business doesn't make a profit? What if the business is not ethical? So what if the business doesn't make a profit if it is a far profit company and if it doesn't make a profit, it will go down. So profit has to be there. What if the business is not ethical? Will people still go and buy their products? Maybe, maybe not, right? So when I put all of these things together, right? Both are important, right? Like somebody answered that, both are important. So how do you arrive this, right? Like how do you showcase that you are actually doing this? You can actually say these things in an interview, right? Like if I apply the first principle, I am trying to separate out facts and assumptions and you are combining two things, right? Like whether it's ethics or profits, is that accurate? And then if you go down, right? If I apply second order thinking, so what? And then what happens in 10 days, 10 years, 10, uh, 10 months? Can explain your reasoning. Same thing, if you go down to inversion, what if the business doesn't make money? What if the business is not ethical? Use those ideas and explain your thought process. And then you can say uh, to the interviewer, right? Okay, both are important without one, the other will not exist. Okay, I'll stop there for a second. Any questions on these three ideas? First principle, separate out facts from assumptions. Second order thinking, so what? And then what happens in 10 days? Add a time timeline to it. And then inversion, does the reverse make sense? Any questions on, on this um, section? Okay, so let me go to the next idea. Again, th this, uh, this is called Six Thinking Hats. Uh, there is a good book uh, on it if you want to actually pick it up by the same name. The author is Edward DeBarno. And so what does it, uh, this uh, Thinking Hats concept is actually used for our, um, um, when we actually come up with new ideas, right? Like it's more like a brainstorming type activity, but I actually find it relevant when it actually comes to thinking. So you see a lot of hats, right? Like a white hat, a blue hat, a green hat in the screen. Each of the hat is tied to a particular way of thinking. So let's go through one by one, white hat. It is actually focused on facts and data. So when uh, I'll come to an example, right? Like shortly. And then if you think about a green hat, what are all the various ideas, right? Like I know uh, Sri Vishnu talked about uh, corner cases or even right like when he solved about business problems. So what are the various ideas? What are the various possibilities? All of those things come up under a green hat. So the way you use this is typically to say, I'm going to wear my white hat. Let me collect all the data that I have. I'm going to wear my green hat what are the various ideas and possibilities that are out there? And then I'm going to wear my yellow hat. This is where for each of the ideas and possibilities, what are the positives? What are the benefits? Why is the idea useful? And when it comes to red hat, right? What are my feelings? Okay, this actually makes me nervous. I don't think um, this is a good idea, right? Like this is about your gut instinct. Okay, that is mostly a red hat thing. 
black hat this is the devil's advocate this is okay these are all the negatives that i see there will always be somebody veda kora kandu pidichite irka abdin solli yaraiyada solluvom illa they have a black hat they are a de- devil's advocate they think about all the negatives and difficulties that uh, that can come up and then the blue hat is finally to say okay nama idella ellathi ezhudi irukom ipo how do we move forward let's lay down some rules how do we think uh, how do we organize this and how do we put this in action so again this is another way of thinking and gathering information right like thinking about ideas It, this is a, another set of um thinking model that you can use in an interview right like the previous uh, set about first principle second order inversion right like that is one set and then this thinking hats is another set so let's let's use an example here okay so again the topic uh, here uh, this came up again recently in in uh, in a conversation that i was actually have, having with uh, with lata um uh, so we were talking about covid 19 and how it exposed the social inequality so the topic here is what are some of the solutions for covid 19 exposed social inequality so again right like please help me along here if you are wearing a white hat what type of information do you have so please go ahead and put in the chat for covid 19 exposed social inequality Yeah, th- think of this as uh, your group discussion topic on the, the group discussion topic you could uh, then uh, what are the facts that you know about covid 19 that's what this box fits in we all are going through this or went through this for the last several months yeah so what information do you have go ahead and top put it in the chat doesn't uh, doesn't mean it, it's it's right or wrong right like let's just talk about what's what's important okay okay so let me go with right like my thought process and then you get uh, you can chime in right so the information and data right like if we just take india as an example it, it definitely exposed social inequality now we all saw pictures of people going back to their hometown right like whether it's uh, in north india people walking several um hundreds of kilometers back home right so you have that information how many people actually migrated back you may not know the numbers but you actually have data available associated with that right do you need any other information so people's livelihood got impacted people were not earning as much money as as they would have normally in a non covid situation because uh, and this impacted a lot of low wage earning people none of what i'm saying is is um, right like it, you don't have to have hard data but you know all of these things whether by a news media or right like what you've read what you've understood the situation to be right am i missing anything here okay so if i put my white hat on this is the information that i have right like it definitely showed a difference between uh, our the upper classes in the social um, ladder and the lower classes in the social ladder so you can make that statement clearly let's go to green hat so we know that there is a social inequality how do you address that social inequality so that is the right like what are the various solutions that we have again people ungalku kandipa ideas irukum nama idella panna edavadhu idu nadakkum idu seri pannalam idu government idu nama panna maatenga idu idu panna nalla irukum nu ungalku thoni irukum unga veetla pesi irupinga unga friends kitta pesi irupinga i want again some ideas like that if you can put it in the chat that will be uh, very helpful na mattume pesi irukka vaada nu paakkara adukku da neengalum pesina innu easier okay so um Yeah, go ahead, Sunita. You're going to say something. No, 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 no. You go first. 
Okay. So from a green hat perspective, right? Like what are the ideas? What are the possibilities? So again, if there is a social inequality, right? Um, yeah, Raj Kamal wrote, right? Like 14 days of total lockdown. Yes, that happened and nobody could work. And that is again, white hat information, right? Like information that I, that I had. So what are the possibilities for, right? Like well, if I wear my green hat, what are the various solutions? We need to get money, right? To people, either money or we need to provide, right? Like food and basics to people. Right, so that their livelihood gets sustained. Number two, right, and then number three. Basically, how do you control COVID-19? Because the longer it takes, the inequality will continue and it will widen. Ilya, so you can have ideas on either addressing the inequality or um, addressing, right, like the uh, disease itself. So you, you can think in both the terms and come up with ideas and possibilities for this. Again, so I only... Kamal, yeah, has put some ideas as well. On this okay, Raj Kamal says government, uh, uh, government should provide goods for 14 days. Yes. Hey, Raj, right? Kamal, Raj Kamal, do you want to talk, please? There's also one person put their hand up, Mick. 17. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry, it's okay. Go ahead and talk. It's fine. Ma'am, in, in my thought, I believe that um, I, I, during COVID uh, C situation, I, I had thought, ma'am, we, uh, we, we have to uh, lock down the whole city every, everywhere for 14 days so that if, if you... We have a lot of schools around us, ma'am, like... Uh, for LKs, Palwadi schools, there are, there are so many schools around in local areas. We can get the foods and the goods from, from local shops and deliver it to the people so that we can uh, provide food for 14 days. And uh, Good. That's that's very good, Raj Kamal. Because right, like you're coming up with an idea, right? Like which is a green green hat idea, right? Like you're also talking about some of you you went into some yellow hat things also, right? Like what are some of the benefits, why it should be done, right? Like you gave a logical reason of why it should be done and why the idea is useful. So that's that is good. Uh, Sanjay wrote about bureaucracy immorality. Again, that is um, the information that you already have. Or maybe it is your feeling that, okay, that the bureaucracy didn't work the way it should, right? Like it's an intuition, it's a gut instinct. Um, and then somebody also mentions the lack of idea on savings for future, uh, savings for future. People who had good economical background save money, whereas others could not, right? They suffered a lot financially. So that is again, a white hat type information, but the idea there is how do you save for future? So you should educate people that saving for future uh, is important. Right? Nama rainy day fund and solo, Nama on the Yerumbo Malakala the Kaya say the same Jewek then solo, the Lanama Solirko, Kitchen of Iceland, the Ketru, Nama Pama Gitand. So all of those things, right? Make sense now. If I end up funny trick, and your your thinking process is it part of white hat? Is it part of green hat? Other it just gives you a logical way of thinking through these things. Ninga solra yella me important, but how do you bucket those in such a way that when you actually talk, it is a cohesive argument to make when when you talk to an interviewer or in a group discussion. Yeah. Jerry, I just want to add one, one thing one the, and, and, and this framework is there so that one the number um, or a problem is solved and the problem is solved uh, immediately and the problem is in details and what ideas I have got to solve it that's what we usually think in the framework uh, ella box you tick panoma, ella, um, ella possibilities you patoma or a tool madri to aid you to think another box of it toma, amding at the So group discussion lerkato or any other problem solving situation that you're taking, 
um, this is there just to assist you so you can think through everything. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So uh, if, if again, right, like somebody mentioned bureaucracy immorality, right? Like if I go to Red Hat, Again, from a feeling perspective, we have a lot of customers in the images. We have a lot of customers in the images. We have a lot of customers in the images. We have a lot of customers in the images. So, if we have a solution, it should go towards everybody. And the, that's why the feelings are important. We have a lot of feelings in the professional setting. We have a lot of feelings in the professional setting. You should understand the feelings also. You should know, right, okay, this is what my get, gut says. So how do I use that information? And that will guide the decision-making process. Ilya? And then black hat, what are the negatives? Somebody else can come out and say, okay, for 14 days, shut down, again, People will not have money. People will not can yeah, will not be able to eat. So everything you can come up with uh, a, a caution, right? Or a devil's advocate point of view. And we need to talk about all of those things. So lack of idea on savings for future. Somebody wrote that. Okay, what if I don't have any savings, right? I need money now to get food now. So that all comes as, right? Like if I wear my black hat, what are the cautions? What are the negatives? Yeah. So, so on the, uh, yeah, just on the uh, savings uh, idea, on the, so savings uh, uh, comes under the green hat, right? When the, where you are saying if people would have, so first one, the lack of savings are the one, the information, and then savings irinda in the prachaniya tavir trikalam amdingar the one, your idea. And in the black hat, you can say when the uh, savings pandra the nala, uh, say, uh, for, for example, somebody uh, uh, or a percentage save panna, there somewhere it has to give in, right? And if that and you're also addressing that point there. Um, so uh, and, the, and the story Madri, where you have identified a fact and then you found a problem, uh, so you found an idea to solve it, and you are, you are asking yourself on the on the idea la, what is the drawback? Yeah. Okay. So and then lastly, right? Like how do you organize all this information and put put that into an action plan? Right? Like that is blue hat. So if one could the examples of a chip of Sunita Chonamari, like like let's let's go down, right? For each uh, type of hat, what would you do, right? Like, so overall, white hat, we talked about all the information that we have. We talked about many ideas, bureaucracy, lack of uh, idea on savings for future, right? And then uh, what else uh, came up? Um, uh, right. to, yeah, government pro has to provide goods for 14 days, right? Like total lockdown, right? Like there were many ideas that came up, right? Like all of these are important. Don't discount any idea, right? Like don't reject any idea right off the bat. Put all the ideas. And then what are the positives and benefits? Okay, so if the government has to provide goods for 14 days, right? Like the benefits are, okay, people don't have to go out. Um, it, it will stop the spread, great. Uh, People need to save for future. Yes, again, uh, they, they will have something for their rainy day fund. Government doesn't have to step in to help. Great, okay, uh, that is that is good. So from a feelings perspective, right? Like we know it exposed social inequality. We feel that somebody has to help, whether it's government or other people, right? Like someone has to help. And then what are the negatives? Okay, so if if the government has to give money, okay, what are the deficits? Will uh, will we encourage people from stay uh, to stay at home and not go find work or find ways to be um, right like socially uh, right like socially distance right? All of those things come in when it comes to black hat, and then putting everything together, our solution should cover a lot of these things, right? So that is where you your blue hat comes into picture. So yeah. hopefully this, and, this mm -hmm. yeah, go ahead. And, yeah. Yeah. and then uh, with this exercise, uh, you, you can then logically reason out, uh, uh, this is my, uh, 
நீங்களே நிறைய ஐடியாஸ் திங்க் பண்ணிருப்பீங்க அதுல வந்து திஸ் இஸ் திஸ் இஸ் த பெஸ்ட் ஐடியா விச் இஸ் காட் த லீஸ்ட் நெகட்டிவ் அண்ட் ஹையஸ்ட் பெனிஃபிட் அதனால ஐ ரெக்கமெண்ட் திஸ் டு பி த you know solution to solve this problem yeah okay so let's let's go to uh, right again there are a few topics here uh, people can um ungalukku uh, pidicha enna topic venal eduthukonga but go ahead and put your uh, messages in the chat right one is online education second one is should there be a limit to media freedom number 3 who are better multitaskers men or women you have again think either using the first principles second order inversion or the six thinking hats right like these are two different mental models that can be applied across all these things right go with what um, I, i just want your thoughts just go ahead and up, uh, put your thoughts doesn't have to be for um, it can be for any of these topics so we are all learning online these days you know, um, who are better multitaskers you met somebody from metallurgy you want to take that up Do you want to talk? Oh. Unmute yourself and you can talk. Uh, why are you sorry? okay so should, should we go one by one right like let's let's <coughs> let's <coughs> let's pick up uh, right like so online education right Let, let's use the uh, six thinking hats right um so what what information do we have right like because of covid right we definitely have reached a point where online education is going to be there right like you also have a lot of online uh um, courses right like lots of online companies um khan academy right coursera udemy there are a lot of companies you have access to right like harvard business schools um um lectures online so yeah the online education actually has uh, come up in such a way that like you have a lot of information available um rajkamal do you um uh, do you have something that um you want to bring up yes uh, uh, during lockdown days uh, during normal days we, we are we, we may have focused only on our uh, academics but on uh, covid we are we are uh, searching for all our uh, what important we are going to do in our future like uh, you say you said you are uh, an, an academy course are there Uh, free courses we are uh, searching that courses for uh, our future to study like that right. um in during academics we don't we may, we may have we may have not focused on that right so great great right so uh, right like again you have information from a white hat perspective right like so is that good or bad right the let's say we want to continue that what are the various ideas and possibilities that are out there and we in this situation we see a lot of positives because people can continue to learn you are learning new things right like those are all benefits right but if i go down to black hat you are actually right like losing one to one connection you are losing connections with your friends right like there are negatives from an online learning or from a virtual world so again there are lots of positives but there are some negatives also right when it comes to right like virtual learning again go if you go one by one you can get to the various ways in which you can um uh, you can deliver your argument i hope that that makes sense 
so let's let's go right like let's pick up the second topic right like should there be a limit to media freedom uh, does anyone want to chime in so 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 media freedom right again what is what information do you have it is the law right media should be free to hold people accountable right that is the law that is the information that you have so why do we say that like does it need to be limited right is it hurting others so yes right some of the stories may be hurting others and that uh, that is also information that you have so what kind of ideas um it should come into play right like from a green hat perspective right like again please jump in with your thoughts now i'm now mattum pesanon paakla ninga i am bringing in different topics so that you can see that, that you can apply this uh, framework to what you want to say so sanjay uh, sanjay was typing okay this it uh, obviously it should be in control um avadin solranga sanjay do you want to talk hello sir yeah go ahead sanjay so yeah go ahead so actually we all know that uh, the media should be in control as the uh, statistic says that um still trend users are around the age of for you're breaking a bit uh, the mission of what uh, so vidya can you sanjay you we cannot hear you sanjay uh, you are breaking up i think we lost him yeah sorry okay. sorry sorry sir yeah go ahead oh, please yeah okay is yes, it it makes uh, it ruins completely and it affects completely to the people who are just staying in the age around 20 to 30 that's what i believe in okay so so you you explained that's your, your feel. red hat <laughs> right like your gut feeling right, right. you are wearing that you, you are saying your recommendation is it should be in control but you are using red hat for that right because and, it is uh, like the, the content what we are exposing into the internet uh, should be you know should be make some sense it should not be uh, uh it should not be spread uh, without any uh, intuitions or anything else that what i was just mm-hmm. okay so you are saying right like there should be some right boundaries within which right like the information can be shared outside of that it should not be because it ruins yes. people exactly like, so. Okay. so that that's Sense, right like again mm-hmm. so yeah so you're saying um you're saying a particular um, information that it uh, without validation it is being published which is wrong other than the information or data and you're saying um, idea or a possibility on how it can be avoided that every information that is shared by the media should be validated by a body right uh, so that is your Mom. idea Right. there is a another statistic says that 70% of uh, internet goes with the uh, pornography what mm-hmm. do you state with it mm-hmm. now makes sense everywhere yeah, it so makes it it was completely spread everywhere mm-hmm. uh, yeah so that is the information right and then uh, yes you're absolutely right and that should be stopped so you you want to provide a solution for it and the solution is uh, uh, that's the idea that you have got or what what do you think is a possibility to stop that government should put an order or have more uh, um uh, cyber crime um, you know a wing should be more proactive in finding this out etc so these are all your ideas or possibilities right yes ma'am and sanjay right like again one caution right from uh from all of this is not again it's not just for sanjay this is how all of us are right we start with our gut instinct that's why this framework is important so that 
you start with the information and then you go with right like go through each of the hats so that you don't come across as i only focus on my feelings or my gut instinct right like so sanjay right you have a lot of points but it should not be based just on your gut instinct and that's where your explanation of these various hats comes into play right i'm, I'm, I'm yeah. hoping that it makes sense right yes that's yes, yeah you you are coming up with good ideas right the way you organize the ideas and presenting that also matters right yeah but that that was great trying sanjay well done well done for trying and there's also somebody um, put on the comment freedom of expression is overrated in social media okay so last topic right like i want to see both men and women on this right who are better multitaskers men or women i think somebody answered on the freedom of expression is overrated in social media yeah. do, yeah. okay. do, do you want to do you want to also continue on that uh, do you want to talk or no i, I think right like based on time right like we only have 10 more minutes so let's okay. go to the last okay. one okay. yeah mm-hmm. um so uh we have uh yeah the last topic is right like who are better multitaskers men or women again all of these can be an interview question group discussion question doesn't matter it uh, our the the reason for us putting this together in front of you is to show that there are ideas or models that you can use to showcase your thinking or your thought process so uh, who are better multitaskers men or women okay i i actually want to go back a little bit to our previous one right let's use first principles right separate out facts from assumptions who wants to try that does anyone want to try it? okay so let 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 me get this going and then uh, please jump in right so do we have to right like the first principle the fact from the assumption um, is is multitasking important right and that's when men can do it or women can do it then comes into play so separate out the your fact from assumption the way the question is framed it is made to look like multitasking is important so my question is is multitasking important right like that is the first principle question separate or uh, separate that out so let's go to the second order one so what right if men are uh, good at multitasking so what if women are good at multitasking so what and then if we go down to inversion so if men are not good at multitasking so what if women are not good at multitasking so what is if multitasking is not that important so what right there are lots of studies these days that multitasking is not good right like it, it we've gotten to a point right, where we are very distracted whether it's because of a phone right like we are we are talking to somebody we are looking at something on the phone right like we are doing something else on the side or we are watching tv it's all happening right like it's all multitasking but we are not focused so again right like i don't want to spend a lot of time but i'm i'm just giving you these things as thoughts that you can go back and think through yeah so also on that multitasking topic you can say you you were you might be doing many things uh, at the same time but um, you're focused only Uh, so even if or na or anje velaye seethu panniterken appadinalo at that single point of time you'll only focus on one thing um, and then the ability to shift from one thing to another swiftly and come back to the other swiftly is a different thing rather than or rendithiyum seendu pandrathu is a different thing right so. okay so again right we are not going to touch on this um but you can use this for can you talk about a project that you worked on 
right? What were the issues? How you solve them, right? You can use, hey, my project is, uh, is about this, right? Like that's the white hat thing, right? These are the ideas or possibilities that we considered, right? Like that's the green hat thing. And then yellow hat, right? Like what are the benefits? We decided on these, right? Like these are the benefits. And then um, well, these were the negatives that we considered and finally we implemented this. So this gives you again, a model on how you can explain your project. Why should we hire you, right? Like, hey, here are my skills. That's your green hat, uh, uh, that's your white hat, right? These are the benefits that actually comes along with that, right? Like, the, and, and then you can come out with, right? Like you can ignore certain things that do not make, make sense, right? For the question at hand. And then finally your recommendation from a blue hat is, yes, you should hire me. Okay, so you can see the reason we are putting this together is to show that the models can apply for seemingly straightforward questions, but you can showcase using the model on your thought process. Okay, I want to cover one one I, uh, question in the in the uh, second half of this page, right? Like um, some of these are more cognitive reasoning type questions, right? How many cricket or tennis balls can you actually put in a fit in a town bus? Does anyone want to try? This is based on the thinking models only, or you can you can use thinking models to get to an answer. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, again, in the interest of time, I'll start start with that and then see what is the data that we have. You kind of know a dimension for a town bus. I'm making certain assumptions there, right? Like it's going to be six feet, um, six feet across, eight feet, uh, eight feet high, and then 20 feet long. Again, certain assumptions that I'm making. You can find the volume for each for the bus itself. And then for a cricket or tennis ball, let's say the diameter is two inches. I'm making it up, right? You know how many balls you can put on one side. And then you can get to a calculation to say, okay, if, if, if it is a six feet wide, right? Like I can fit in a hundred balls across and 120 on the top. And then 250 from one uh, one end of the bus to the other, and then you can get to how many tennis balls you can fit into a town bus. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you get you guys get get some of these types of questions, but again, this is actually taking a step back to understand what information that you have, right? Like this is about the thinking slow concept. So, um, right, like my the information that I have is. I know certain dimensions for a time, uh, town, uh, town bus. I know certain dimensions for uh, the tennis ball, right? That is the information that you have. If you think slowly, you can get to this answer. Yeah. Sunita, you're going to and say also, something. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, uh, also you can make it a little more complex and say that you have thought it through and the, you can say, I'm making an assumption that the bus has no passengers. And uh, you can also account for, um, uh, you know, number of seats uh, that it has. Uh, therefore, you know, make, make, make it further down complex and granular to find, uh, arrive the answer. Uh, the number of seats uh, where you, uh, the, the balls cannot be fit in, fitted in. Therefore, I need to subtract those. Okay. So, right, like the other questions in here, right? Like you can uh, you can practice on your own, right? Think about it. You can practice on your own. And then there are other problem solving models, right? Like there, uh, again, this is on your own. You can research some of the, uh, some of these things, right? Like I've given some of these um, ideas. I'll send this over to you in a PDF and you guys can um, actually do some research on your own if this, this topic is uh, interesting to you. So we'll stop here from a time perspective um, let, and let's open it up for questions.
somebody has raised hand or no இது ரொம்ப முக்கிய மக்களை நீங்க ஏன்னா நீங்க இன்டர்வியூக்குன்னு போகும்போது உங்களுக்கு தெரிஞ்சது மாத்திரம் வந்து இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் கிடையாது யூ ஷுட் பி ஏபிள் டு ஷோ கேஸ் யுவர் தாட் ப்ராசஸ் அது ரொம்ப ரொம்ப இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஏன்னா உங்களோட எபிலிட்டி எதுல வெளியில வரும்னா த வே தட் யூ கே யூ ஷோ கேஸ் தட் யூ கேன் திங்க் த்ரூ சர்டன் திங்ஸ் அண்ட் கம் அவுட் வித் யுவர் ரெஸ்பான்சஸ் Ilya, your brain power is the most important thing when you go into an interview and you should be able to showcase that that's why this is this is very important yeah in fact over here even to get into a college they can have an interview process and at oxford university one of my friends son went in and they give him a situation and he went for a medical degree so they give him a situation and say if you are a doctor uh you have to tell how you will solve this problem and when the, they are not looking for a, a, you know a perfect answer but uh, just his thinking his thinking through on how he can solve that problem that is given to him as a doctor that's all they are um, uh, judging him on right so okay quick quick revision on the six thinking hats ed dibano what a model adhe madri thinking fast and slow first principles second order and inversion right like you can use these in any situation in an interview or a group discussion and use it well okay any questions again the key thing is how do you put these into practice ninga uh, if you don't use these models it won't come to you illya so whether you are seeing some news um, newspaper headline or even tv uh, channel la ore topic thirumba thirumba pesiittu irundhalum see if you can apply some of these things in practice idhula vandhu ipo na if i if i use this right like will i get to the same thing that whatever the tv pundit is saying right you may have different thoughts you may have different opinions adalana vand that will set you apart but again the key thing is you need to practice yeah. this will not every, happen overnight yeah go ahead yeah. sure uh, no also even small every uh, one's life even interview or uh, you know group discussion come out all normally we will always have a Uh, everybody will face a problem right um, and even ungloda uh, studies liye vand you might have uh, um, gone um, down on a particular um, subject you can apply this um, you know six hat principle to find out where, where it went wrong and what is the best way to recover from that situation that you are in so. okay any if, uh, final questions before we end okay logwani ma'am if you want to uh, pick it up uh, thanks sir uh, thanks uh, sunita ma'am uh, so uh, regarding the next session uh, we can have the update in the group sir okay yeah okay. because Thank students you. they may have exams during uh, december i think uh, during, at yeah. the end of the first week i shall intimate you Uh, about the updates in our college right sir okay thank that you. works here yeah. uh, thank you lata ma'am thank you thank you for thanks giving lot us everyone yeah. yeah this is great and thank you, you have you. our email addresses right like in uh, from the pdf that we shared last week if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us right like via email and we'll uh, we'll get in touch with you okay thanks lot everyone thank you um, all the best for your all the very best Thank you. Thank you.